M0 FXB, let's update the firmware on our Yesu FT710. Now this firmware was released February 2024, but I'm doing it in June 25. There is a new download link for the files, you'll see it just here. I'll put the link in the description, go to files, and then it's just there. And click, you've got instructions, but click firmware, update here, and then you get a zip up here that I've already downloaded, which looks like this, okay? And we're just going to copy the file. We only need the main one at the moment, which is, let's have a look, the second one down, 0.12, all the rest I've already done. Uh, to check your firmware, just go menu, uh, then go to extensions, go down to software version, down one, and then it's all there, look. And look, 1.10 is my is my main. The display, the S is 1.08, DSP 1.01 and SDR 1.04 but we're only doing the top one so we'll go back and if you've never put a card in your machine before ever I'll just push mine out you literally just push it here so I think I've got it in my PC let's grab it like so this is a big one here and you can slide it in the hole with the the cutoff part at the bottom and it will say set up like so, and you just click yes, and it's all. And then if you want, you can even go format, click okay. But if you've got lots of memory channels, then of course, save to it as well. Because I would say, more than likely, I would say you have to do a factory reset at the end of this. So, back up. Like so, I'll leave it live. Format complete. And if you did want to back up, look, you've got, you just tap all these duns and it will save everything, not the firmware, and it will save everything. Right, back. Get your, take your card out because you need to load the firmware files on there. Put it onto your adapter and back into your PC. Just get up. This is my adapter there, look, see? You just plug it in. I'll put a link in for the one that I like. Uh, they're not expensive, so that's plugged in. And on your PC, if you go to Files, and if you want to search files, just click here where it says Search, and just start to put files, or look for the yellow folder, and your Files window will appear. So in this, you can uh, go to, on the side, USB-E. And see it says FT710 there. Now, if yours isn't appearing, it means you haven't done the procedure correctly. So we're just going to get the main and just drag it to the left and let go and then we need it to be in the 710 for the computer to sorry for the radio to see it when you plug it into the radio so let's see if it does so we're going to grab the um sd card pop it into our radio like so now you could drag all of the files across if you want uh, because say no to set up on this one because um, you might not have done a firmware for a long time so drag them all across with the display DSP main yeah because then your radio will recognize if it needs them then go to function extension turn the function knob so extend let's do that slower function extension setting just here Turn to sir. Let's go down. SD card. Then go firmware. And it, it's found it already. Look now. If you put the other files in there, it will do them as well. But I don't need to. Then we're going to go update. Did it make me physically select it? Probably have to hold our finger on. Oh, I see what it's making me do. As I turn, it goes from cancel to main. You have to press it. And now, update and OK. So I was faffing a bit then. So select it, then update, OK. And it should just do it all for you. Uh, do not disturb, do not turn the power off. I'm not doing that, and you can see it's all the firmware going in up here. Now the instructions from 
from Yesu are very good. So just also read them, of course. You can see where the files have been put, put in. Step by step, that's the uh, SD card going in. Very nice. Different options that you can select for different firmware. Display, DSP, SDR and main. And there you go. So now let's see where the factory reset instructions are. I mean, my radio is brand new, so um, I don't mind factory reset in it. Reset the transceiver. It says press DSP, press and hold the DSP reset key, the find fast key, and then turn on. So DSP reset. Oh, it's the bottom two. So basically, yeah, it's little gloves there, look. Just put my little head out of the way. So here, at the bottom two underneath the VFO, hold them down and reset, which we're going to do in a minute. And at least you're up to the latest firmware, because I'm going to be doing the SCU LAN video soon. That's the thing that gives you remote control access, and um, which is just here. Oh, there it goes, factory resetting. So... See, so we get a nice window of SCU LAN and it's photograph. Yeah, here's one of the manuals. So, yeah, it's a nice big color screen, big waterfall. So, that's SCU LAN. That's what the box looks like. Anyway, so let's just turn it on briefly. And then we'll do the factory reset. So, you can see there, and if we go function, extension, um, version. We're up to 0 0.112, but you still have to do it back. So let's turn it off. And we're going to push and hold those two buttons. Quite soft buttons, really. Hold the on. Now it's definitely reset because you get the 3D scope. There you are. Thanks for watching. You know fully updated and yeah like i said it'll if you if there are other files that you need to update as well it'll do them for you in exactly the same process bye for now see you on the seu land video